and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll be revising uh, airbrush stencils using a plotter and I'm doing this video especially for one of my subscribers who is number five full dude I love you okay um, you watch all my videos you comment you like them you share them dude so I hope you enjoy this um, if you do get uh, one of the plotters we were talking about then um, I've got the portrait which is slightly smaller uh, if you get the cameo is a3 so you know it will allow you to do bigger stuff it's totally up to you it is a slightly more expensive though if you do get one of these um, the programs that come with them are exactly the same I do know of who of people who have the other one so uh, it does exactly the same job and you know if you have any problems with using the program or something just inbox me and I'll try and help you out okay so I think this is kind of what you wanted to achieve or you wanted me to show you um, I did I was gonna do both of them but to be honest I didn't have much time and the top one wasn't really coming out any good so because I had some like splatter in there from water that came out and never mind so hope you enjoyed that one and having said all this um, I, I'm not sponsored by any of the brands I mentioned in my videos I try not to mention too many brands so you know give me some love first thing obviously get your images and then just it, most of the programs are going to be drag and, and drop so I'm going to drop that one in there and as you can see I've already put the C and, and done that there but I'm going to do this one so you can see all the steps so what you're going to do is you're going to put your image in there and then you're going to trace it out which is just a little button on the program which says trace okay you might have to adjust uh, your threshold etc but don't worry about that when you get your program uh, you know they're pretty straightforward if you need any help just give me a shout and, uh, and I'll sort you out so after you got your outline as you want and you just trace the image okay you get rid of your original because you're not going to need that one okay so now I've got all my designs sorted out I'm going to get a piece of vinyl I'm just using cheap vinyl like you get at the pound shop or dollar store or whatever I'm going to use a bright colour so you can kind of see it better on because I'm going to use a black background so first thing you have to do is you're going to have to cut uh, a piece of vinyl to size okay. so I've got my vinyl so I'm just and I'm just going to feed it into I'm just going to feed it into the plotter and just make sure it's straight uh, you know there's no creases on there or anything and then I just feed it through now we're doing this on vinyl so there's no cutting mat needed. If you were doing, um, if you wanted to do a mylar stencil or a paper stencil, whatever, um, then you're going to have to use your cutting mat. Okay, so here, uh, you know, it's time to grab a sandwich or something while it cuts. It doesn't take too long, but, you know. Here I'm just cutting stuff down to size and peeling the excess off. Okay, so to transfer this onto your painting surface, you're going to have to use some transfer tape, which I've talked about in other videos. And if you don't have transfer tape or you can't get any, you can use um, masking tape but 
you know, it is touch and go. You, you do have to use a uh, very low tack masking tape. Okay, so basically you're just going to put that over your design. Okay, so once you've got that on there, all you need to do, all you're going to do is you're going to turn it around and peel this off in the same motion as we did when weeding out the excess. Just pull it gently. So if you, again, if you pull it up, it's going to lift your design. Okay, so you want to pull it all the way back. And there we go. Now we can stick it on whatever surface we want. Now there is see-through stuff as well. I mean you can pretty much see through this stuff. Um, but this transparent one. Uh, but I don't really like that one. It, I think it, it, it sticks too much. So that's a personal choice though. So let's go on to the fun stuff. I'm going to start off with black. Now this is just for demonstration, so I just threw some black paint on there. Okay, so just stick it on there, press the down real well, and then peel it off. So here I start off with a uh, yellow and white mix. Uh, gonna kind of do some flames in there. So I always start out with the yellow and white, and then go over it with some red. You can start off with pink, I've seen that uh, been done before, um, because you know it is kind of the effect you get with throwing red over there. Uh, if you do straight pink you lose one layer though, so you know it depends how deep you want it to look and stuff like that. So now I'm going over my red with my original yellow and white mix again. You know, and you don't have to go over the same pattern because uh, uh, when I started to try out fire, I would go over and over the same pattern, so, and you know it doesn't work. It actually looks better if you don't if you stray from the pattern. Uh, so it looks like different layers and the flames are going different ways. But you know, you see what I mean. So. After the yellow and white, I come in with some orange, bright orange, again, you know, kind of just random stuff. And, and you know, where you start to refine the flames is uh, the next step here. Now I'm going in with some white, that's going to be like the brightest part of the flames. And you know, I'm still getting to touch to, to grips with uh, doing fire. Uh, you know, I think it looks cool every time you do it, it gets better. You know, uh, I didn't have any ref picture uh, to get some references off, but I should have. Okay, now I'm going over with the blue, but sorry, with the yellow, and to make it pop. I'm gonna go around it with some white. Okay, so just going over with the white. Um, you can't really see it at the first go, but you know, I did it about three times, and then it came out quite bright. Okay, now I'm just gonna go around my white with some blue. Now going over with the blue. And there you go dude, I hope that helps you out, don't forget to like and comment and I'll catch you soon.